Despite threats of fines, even lawsuits, one business owner continues to refuse to leave. The city of Dallas is trying to get him out, but he says no amount of money is worth the years that he has put in at his business. Steve Pickett, live for us, right along Ross Avenue in Dallas with the rest of the story. Steve? Yeah, trying for 10 years to get him to go and now filing a lawsuit against him, and it may cost him some money. Let me show you where we are here on uh, East Ross Avenue. If you guys are familiar with this, this is the ever-developing new gateway to downtown East Ross Avenue. It has changed with all of this development, but this one particular business operator has been here for years, and despite the rules, he was supposed to be gone. The city has simply said, do one thing for us, leave. The new look of Ross Avenue is one block away from the old Ross Avenue. Louis Corrin runs the coffee shop city planners envision for this redeveloped east side enclave of new apartments, townhomes, and shops. Inga Mbogo runs the auto repair shop the city of Dallas wants long gone from this street. The past and the present of Dallas's Ross Avenue may be a block away, but the businesses are miles apart when it comes to what the city has mandated for this street. Mbogo is in violation of a 10-year-old rezoning ordinance. Car lots and car repair shops are banned from this section of Ross. The city now wants to impose daily $1,000 fines until he closes. He will not, so they file suit against him. I have invested 30 years here. There's no way to pay for 30 years. So where did I take my car? To that car shop. Uh, so it, it does have a need and a purpose. Louis Corwin's place benefited from the rezoning here. He knows Mbogo has refused to leave, and some residents insist his shop close. However, Corwin is not one of them. I think he's got a respectable name. He's been here for years. He's proven what he does and can do in the neighborhood. Well, according to the city, that is not the issue here because there have been a number of those types of repair shops and car lots along Ross Avenue over the past 10 years. They are all gone, except Mr. Mbogo. He's still here. The city says $1,000 a day in fines is what they want until he leaves. Reporting live, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News.